I just read the 2005 novel No Country for Old Men by Cormac McCarthy, and then I watched the 2007 film No Country for Old Men, directed by the Coen brothers, starring Tommy Lee Jones, Javier Bardem, and Josh Brolin. Both take place in 1980 in Texas near the Mexico border and follow a man named Llewellyn Moss, played by Josh Brolin in the movie, who stumbles upon a huge sum of cash after discovering a drug deal gone bad and the ensuing manhunt as the owners of the money try to reclaim their property. I'm going to compare both, and at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you which one I think is better. But before we get into it, please remember to like and subscribe. This video will contain spoilers, so here's your warning. All right, let's get into the book by Cormac McCarthy. This is the first McCarthy book I've ever read. He's written several. And each chapter starts with an italicized story told from the point of view of the character Sheriff Ed Tom Bell, who's played by Tommy Lee Jones in the film. And I liked this part of the book because you get stories about law enforcement and humanity. His first story has an ominous warning about the evil that we are about to encounter. After that, though, I kind of instantly disliked this book. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? McCarthy's writing style, and I believe this is the case with all of his books, I'm not sure though, is very unique. He uses very little punctuation. Instead of commas, he inserts the word and a lot. And, <laughs> I mean, take a look at this passage alone. I counted the word and 11 times in one sentence. His prose is really simple and easy to read. Events happen very quickly. He spends very little time giving descriptions of the settings or of characters' physical appearances. He doesn't use quotation marks when characters are speaking, and he hardly ever attributes lines of dialogue to who's speaking, so it is difficult at times to keep track of who's saying what. And he doesn't add much flavor to the conversations. Let's take a look at this amazing scene from the movie, for example. The character Anton Chigurh, played by Javier Bardem, who is this type of hitman who's after the money, he walks into a convenience store and has an exchange with the owner. What business is it of yours? Where I'm from? It is an incredibly tense exchange, but when you juxtapose this scene with this section from the book... What time do you go to bed, sir? You're a bit deaf, aren't you? I said, what time do you go to bed? The book just kind of falls flat, in my opinion. Somewhere around 9.30, I'd, I'd say around 9.30. You don't get anywhere near the same sense of foreboding and suspense from McCarthy as you do from the Coens and the two actors in this scene in the film. Now, many critics adore McCarthy's writing. He's even been called our greatest living writer by a critic with the Houston Chronicle. He's just not my cup of tea. I prefer a more traditional style of writing. I will say this though, as jarring as it is at first, you do get used to the writing style after a while, and it does help that this story is pretty captivating. All right, let's talk about the film directed by the Coen brothers. It won the Academy Award for Best Picture in 2007, and it's easily my favorite of the Coen Brothers movies, and I like quite a few of their films. Which one of their films is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. I freaking love this movie. It is, I mean, as a modern Western, it has some of the most tense and suspenseful sequences of any movie I've seen in the past 20 years. For example, there's one scene in this film where Moss is getting chased by a pit bull, and he jumps into a river. He's only got one good arm because he was shot in the shoulder. And this dog jumps in the river and starts swimming after him. And it's getting closer and closer because it's swimming faster than he is. Moss eventually gets out of the water and has to dry off his pistol before he can use it. Meanwhile, this pit bull is getting closer and closer and closer and closer. And at the very last second, Moss gets his pistol prepared and shoots the dog. It's such an amazing sequence. The cinematography by Roger Deakins is beautiful. I also noticed that this film has hardly any music throughout it, and it works. Tommy Lee Jones and Josh Brolin are great in this movie, but holy sh Javier Bardem. He makes this movie. Anybody who knows films out there knows that having a compelling villain is crucial to making a compelling film. And Bardem brings such life to this character of Anton Chigurh. He's so creepy. 
with his strange haircut and his slow and methodical way of delivering his lines and looking into people's souls. Woo! The main thing that I never loved about this movie is the death of Moss. He is the character that you're rooting for throughout the whole film, and his death is very anticlimactic. It's just kind of like, oh, okay, he's dead now, I guess. That is kind of how it happens in the book, though, so. As far as differences between the book and the movie go, there really aren't that many. No major differences. The, the movie follows the book pretty closely. The hotel room encounter between Moss and Shigur in the movie happens a little bit differently than it does in the book and then the ensuing chase through the town late at night. In the book, there's a car that comes up and other men get out and start shooting, and that doesn't happen in the movie. The woman at the pool at the motel in the movie who offers Moss a beer, she's a different character in the book. She's actually a young hitchhiker that Moss picks up on the side of the road, and they have several conversations over meals. In the book, you're with Sugar as he returns the money back to its original owner, which you don't see happen in the movie. They end a little bit differently, but pretty similar in the book. Sheriff Bell ends up interviewing the two young boys who witnessed the car crash that Shigur was in, trying to track down Shigur, but is ultimately unsuccessful. All right, so which one do I think is better, the book or the movie? You probably could have guessed it by now. I am a huge fan of this movie, and the book fell a little flat for me, so I'm gonna go with the movie over the book. It's a great story, I will give McCarthy that. I'm just not a big fan of his writing style. Some people really like his stripped down, bare bones prose, but uh, it's just not for me. If you're a fan of Cormac McCarthy's writing, you know, let me know in the comments what it is that you like about it. Anyway, that's it for me. Again, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more reviews in the near future. My next video will be a movie comparison. I'm going to compare the 90s Mortal Kombat to the brand new Mortal Kombat movie. That should be fun. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.